Recent opinion polls suggest there is a good chance National and ACT could form the next government. I'm joined by NBR's political editor Brent Edwards. So Brent, would that make for a comfortable governing arrangement? Well, probably more than likely, although it is interesting that at its recent um, annual conference, I mean, ACT leader David Seymour took the opportunity to have a, a good whack at, at the National Party, essentially saying it was really no much, not much better than, than Labour, that when it got into government, it just carried on doing what Labour had done, and that was more than likely after the next election, unless, of course, ACT was there in numbers to really make sure that it followed through on the sort of reform process that ACT thinks is necessary to, to change the economy. What about other tensions between the two parties? Well, look, aside from tensions around possible policy changes, and, and look, both National and ACT agree on the general direction of policy, but the disagreement is that ACT would go much faster and much further, and so it thinks that National's timid. But on other issues, and again where there's general agreement, both parties, for instance, agree that the Maori Health Authority should be scrapped. They don't support the three, four, three waters reform process, which includes giving iwi some say in, in water infrastructure, not control, but some say. But where they differ is that <coughs> David Seymour now is using quite extreme language. He's talking about um, the government setting up an ethno-state. Well, of course, an ethno-state is a state in which citizenship is only granted to one particular race or ethnicity and then that is clearly not the case here. I mean it is patent nonsense. Uh, Christopher Luxon has rejected the term but I think you'll find that, that if ACT continues to run that extreme line, use that extreme rhetoric, that will put pressure on National to be much more public and open in its opposition and that might create a little bit of discord between the two parties um, heading up into next year's election. Well, do these raise political problems for National uh, between now and the election? Well, well, one of the problems it raises, of course, is that, and, and we've seen this with Labour, where, where National Act actually attacked Labour and saying, oh, you vote for Labour, you get a Labour-led government, it's going to have the Greens here, and look how radical the Greens are. Now, the, the problem now for National will be, obviously, clearly... Uh, Labour, the Greens and other parties will be saying a national-led government will have ACT in it and act, look how radical ACT is and particularly look at their approach and policy on race issues and their, their attitude towards Māori. And, you know, and the worry is actually more broadly than how it might affect nationals' political chances or how it runs its campaign is, you know, if this carries on, you're going to run into the election campaign and have a very bitter and divisive race debate, which uh, really won't be good for anyone. Thanks, Brent. That's our political editor, Brent Edwards.